Great spirit of the earth, you give us harvests. Great spirit of the north, you give us the cold winds that teach us endurance. Great spirits of the east, you give us the morning sun that fills our day with light. Great spirits of the south, you give us the warm winds that give us hope. Great spirits of the west, you give us majestic mountains and forests from which we hunt and fish. We have honored the great spirits tonight, and I'd like to start the council fire. Firemaker Brothers, we probably need some help. <laughs> Long time ago, four braves approached Chief Akela and asked him for a challenge. The Akela thought for a while about what the challenge might be, and after pondering it, he looked across the desert to a great majestic mountain, and he said, young braves, go across the desert to this tall mountain, climb it, and when you get to the top, bring me back what you found on the top. The four young braves were excited about this challenge and went running off into the desert. Many, many hours passed and the first young brave came back holding a cactus. Akela noticing the cactus says, welcome back young brave. I see that you've made it halfway across the desert. I'm very proud of you. Please come sit by my fire. Feel the warmth of the fire and tell me of your adventures. Many more hours passed, and the second young brave came back with a piece of sagebrush. Noticing the sagebrush, Akela said, I noticed that you made it all the way across the desert to the base of the mountain. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Please come sit by my warm fire and tell me about your adventure. The mountain. That is a great accomplishment, and I congratulate you. Please come sit by my fire and enjoy the warmth. Many more hours passed more hours passed. The, the tribe was getting worried. The fourth brave had not come back. Akela decided to put together a search party to go find this fourth young brave. And just as the search party was about to leave, the young boy came in. He was crying. He was very upset. And Akela said, are you hurt? Are you okay? Is everything all right? And the young brave said, Akela, I made it to the top of the mountain. And when I got there, there was nothing to bring back. And Akela said, I do not need proof from you, young brave. I can tell by the way you walked. Your chest was puffed out. You were full of pride that you made it to the top of the mountain. So they sat down and talked about his adventures. And the young brave told about how he saw mountain after mountain that he could climb and how it finally ended up in the shining sea. That made Akela happy. The story is meant to symbolize what we do in Cub Scouts, with each accomplishment representing wolf, bear, we blow one, and only those who reach the top of the mountain 
have received the most prestigious award in Cub Scouting, the Arrow of Light. The boys that we present tonight, when they joined as tigers or wolves, were probably surrounded by three or four times the amount of boys they're surrounded by tonight, just as those braves in the story were. Few, uh, many people come forward for the toughest challenge, and very few make it. The boys tonight are among those who did, in fact, make it. We're very proud of these boys tonight, and I wish to honor them properly. Secret story about this arrow, or these arrows. The shaft is made of wood. The wood reminds us of the trees and the forest and all of nature that surrounds us and that we must, must respect. The feathers remind us of the winged creatures and all the animals in the forest that we hunt and use for food and clothing. The tip is made of stone. It comes to a point that's very sharp. The tip tells us that sometimes things, things in life are hard, but if we persevere and follow the path that we have here, we will eventually come to the right point, the right decision. So please, when you remember this arrow, think about that. James Kennedy. Cameron Cox. Colin Martell.
partial hair. Inside, the pack was kind enough to give Boy Scout shirts to our leaders, Bill Cox and Ed Mortella. Tonight at the Kayla, I'd like to reward their their spirit of volunteerism. The red shirts they received indicate that their time of volunteering is probably not done. <laughs> so let this arrow be a small token uh, for them to hang in their office or wherever is special for them so that they can remember their Cub Scout years in a permanent fashion. Mr. Cox, Mr. Martell. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Hello. It's a tradition in our pack, as we do the Arrow of Light ceremony, to, for one last time, go over the Cub Scout oath with these now. Signs up. I promise to do my best, to do my duty, to God and my country, to help other people, and to obey the law of the pack. To do your best. Boys, you have done your best. Accept every challenge and succeed. Trust your... Trust yourself, and when others doubt you, always demonstrate good sportsmanship. Know that in the end, truth prevails. Second, do your duty to God. Do your duty to God. Be reverent. Be assured God is great and good. Worship Him and honor Him and trust in Him. Do your duty to God, to your country. It is your duty to your country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and defend it against all enemies. This is a great country. Remember those who lived and died for the freedom you enjoy. Never take it for granted.
Right. Help other people. Do a good turn daily. This is the mark of a scout. There is no greater endeavor than to help your fellow man. Look for other opportunities to help those in need. To make someone smile. To give a kind word. Do this and your charity will be returned to you fivefold. Obey the law of the pack. This is the law that has bound us together as a pack. Walk proudly as a scout of pack 737. You have run a good race. We are proud to call you one of us. Ryan Abler. Axton Roundtree Chapel.
You'll get one just like Bill. Okay. 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 Who have graduated from PAC 737. Let's have a big round of applause for you guys. Thank you everyone for coming out and honoring these boys in such a fine fashion. Have a great night.